Hey there! Welcome back to another episode of Afterlife SMP. Today we're going to be changing the design of the ticket booths and the rotatory things, the turn styles. We'll be changing the designs of both of them, along with doing the very front entrance. And I have settled on a name for the park. Hopefully the other members of the server can agree on it. I hereby declare the name of the park is Afterland. Get it because after life and it's sort of it's the same thing it's like after okay you get it okay onwards we're going to be doing the main archway pillar thing that'll be showing off where the park is from a distance although the afterlife towers are sort of blocking the view so you know if you could uh just scooch those along just a little bit that way just way over there that'd be great thanks for moving your build for mine anyway so today i want to change the design of these and these a lovely viewer by aqua buzzard a lovely comment by aqua buzzard good english suggested that i use yellow hardened clay and blue hardened clay now it seems i lost a little bit of my blue hardened clay somewhere i did die a couple times in the nether so that's maybe where it went maybe i had it on my inventory but we're going to be changing the designs uh, of these and these and i think we're going to use bone blocks for them uh i messed around with bone blocks i was you know going through designs and i really like it so you know what let me change this first one up just to give you an idea actually no i'll change both of them up and get this one actually working to give you guys a good idea of what I'm trying to go for and then I'll explain the sort of design of these ones so give me one second I'll be right back so now all four things are done this one got the little canopy on it this one did as well with the bone blocks as the little pillars and over here I changed them to the bone blocks and quartz and now you can't cheat the system you can't get around before without the half slabs up here you could actually jump up onto the trapdoors and walk yourself around it. No, no cheating. You got to pay the fee of my park if you want to get in my park. So there you go. No more cheating. So now I want to sort of do the big little sign or the big little th uh, English. Hello. Where'd you go? You run off on me. I want to do the big sign and I don't actually have lettering on it because I was like, eh, well, how am I supposed to fit lettering on there? If I do a banner, that's going to look weird, it's going to look too small, it's going to look out of place. So I just decided to do a little simple thing with some stained glass and two little arches of the hardened clay of the blue and yellow. And I think it looks pretty good, so first step we have to do is take these up to 12. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Drop down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then the same over here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12 drop down and then we can get a good look at how exactly tall these are which are pretty tall they're sort of tall so that's how tall they are along with the archway it's a little bit taller but not that much taller so it's sort of tall but not that tall and it stands out nicely so now i need to do the back two and then i'll be back with you to show you how i'm going to do this arch be back one second so I got the little glowstone arch up on the bottom it is yellow on the top it is blue hello creeper over there on the bottom it is yellow on the top it is blue there is a space in between which I need to go get sand for which is filled with different colors of glass mainly the blue and the yellow just to match the theme I think it looks pretty good but I'm going to get the yellow on now come back with you and then the blue and then the glass or maybe the yellow come back with you actually mm, I'm just gonna do it all I'm just going to do it all very quickly. I might come back with you, give you a little bit of an update, but I'm not exactly sure yet. But once we're done that, we'll continue working on a little bit of other stuff around here. So the blue and the yellow are done. It looks nice, doesn't it? Except there's one more step. All this delicious quartz right here is going to go around the blue and yellow and on this side as well. Both sides are going to have a round of blue or a round of quartz going around the blue and yellow. It involves a lot of stairs and a lot of slabs and a little bit of actual blocks. So I got to be sort of careful. I don't want to go back into the nether. That's where I keep dying. It makes me real sad when I die but hopefully I can do this decently hopefully I can do it like a little bit decently get it done you know just have have fun 
<laughs> That's all I want. I just want to have fun. I want to get this done nice and properly. So hopefully I can do it. I will update you if I can't do it. But I will see you back when there is the white strip around it. Boom. I think it looks really good. I think... I think if the white really ties it in. Uh, it was looking a bit weird with just the yellow and the blue. I think the white really ties it in. I don't think I have enough quartz like maybe I do, but I want to fill in this area, that area, that area, and the area up above. I just don't think I have enough quartz to do that. And that area right there should be connected, but I didn't connect it because I was too lazy. I looked at it and then I'm like, oh, I'll connect it. And then I went on my business, did the rest of it, and then didn't connect it but I think the white really really ties it in together I think that's a really good sign and now you can sort of see why I didn't want to put the banners on it because with the banners any letters that it's going to make is just too small it's too small it's too weird and I'm not going to like it so that's the entrance to afterland now we need to figure out a couple more things to do for this episode I'm going to brainstorm a little bit and maybe we'll end up doing something here in a little bit or in a couple seconds but i just want to maybe think about the layout for here a second i just want to brainstorm something so you're walking in giant sign maybe the sign is a bit too back even maybe it's a bit too far back if it is i don't want to move the sign i'll move these instead but if the sign is here you walk in you're like oops got a trip over the sign okay ticket then you walk through these are fine I'm not so sure about the ticket booths maybe they're a bit too close to the front sign I'm not really sure so I'm gonna have to think about that but right now I have to run over to White's shop and pick up a little bit more food before I have to continue this episode since I only have about four pieces of chicken left and I certainly need more so I sort of figured out what we're going to be doing next. I want to take a whole bunch of stone, lay it down, and then sort of go over the stone and texture it a little bit. But this is just for the pathway into the park and to the ticket booths and then the other booths. So I just want to do this real quick, get it all nice and uneven, then we'll texture it in a second. I just want to get sort of the basic general pathway down so I can get a feel for it and then say if I like it or not, and then we'll go on to the rest of it. But I want a sort of wider pathway. Now I'm still debating on whether or not these ticket booths are in a good place or bad place they sort of feel like a bad place but I guess we'll just have to see here in a little bit if you know the place they're in is actually good so there's the first little pathway the second little pathway sort of goes under my little storage area setup thing but that's no problem we can get around that just like this just get around oops that's a bed uh, get around it just like this and then bring it over here right like this and then that's the pathway, we'll put a little bit more grass right here, but that's the pathway that leads to both of them. Uh, maybe right here, we'll go like this and add a little bit more stone there and take away this one, put a little bit of grass there. And then from these ones, I want to lead these both around to these ticket booths, the turnstiles back here. So a little bit of that and then a little bit of this one that wraps around it. And then, uh oh, what did I just break? I think I just broke a piece of grass with the redstone torch on it. I think that's all I did. Yeah, I think that's all I did. That's good. Whew. Thought I broke something major there. I was about to panic. I was like, oh, I'm not ready for this. I'm not ready to fix this. I don't know what I broke. Okay, into that. And then fill that up with stone here in a quick second. And then we can get a general feel for the pathway. You know, decide if we want, like... A little bit of a fence along it so we keep people in check and in line so they're not running around like crazy banshees you know in my park not happening not happening one bit so here wraps around like this goes down here and leads to the booths right so that's going to be that and then maybe like here-ish just to have a little bit of pizzazz maybe we'll have a tree or something right there but just for right here, fill this up with stone and maybe connect these two as well because we're going to be covering just a little bit of it, oops, a little bit of it with some stone slabs like this so people can walk up and down them just like that. And let's actually just one more in all of it, just one more out just to get a better feeling for it. Two, three, like this, one more out so there's a little bit more stone to be seen. Boom, like that. And then right here, let's actually just sort of, let's take this off for a second. Let's take all this grass out for a split second. And then 
we'll sort of work ourselves a little bit of a viewing area, maybe like a tree. So like that, I want this to be even. So it's going to be like this. So one, two, three, this goes two, and then that goes back one. Fill that up with grass like this. So that can turn into grass. We need an actual piece of grass. I'll get that going in a second. But if we just fill this straight up like that, and then cover a little bit of it, oops, uh, cover a little bit in stone slabs, we should get a nice little area for a tree going here. Yeah, I think that's a nice little area for a tree. Maybe we'll have like a dark oaks, a dark oak sitting right there for a little bit of symmetry. I think that looks good. Let me go get a little bit of dark oak uh, saplings so I can sort of see how that's going to look there. But in the meantime, I want to grab a piece of dirt and just go like this. So some dirt can reach into here unless I have a piece that's still in my chest. I do. Ha ha. Break all the odds. I actually don't remember where I got this. Right, because I had a Silk Touch pick before I died. Or a Silk Touch shovel before I died. Rip in peace, my Silk Touch shovel. You were great. But let that spread, and I'll see you back in a second. I do think it is looking very nice with that tree in there. It adds a splash of color that was desperately needed. Before we do all of the little things here, I do want to do something over here. In my local park, there is this little thing in between the ticket booths, maybe off to the side, depending. I think it, uh, one entrance is off to the side, the other is actually there, but with it is these little things, hold on, we have a whole bunch of iron bars. Again, we don't want anyone cheating to get through, right, we don't want cheaters. So, what we have over at a park near me is actually these little turnstile things, like this, and then they sort of go like that. Like, hmm, it's hard to explain. Okay. Let me try and explain this without sounding stupid. It's a big wall of sort of like a chain, so you can't like actually go through it, right? But in the middle of this chain, or else on like one side or so, there are these little things that sort of sit right here in the middle, and they have bars that go out in all directions that will spin to let you out, right? They'll spin to let you out so you're like walking through and you got to push this way to go out right so you got to push it and i was like oh that should be easy to make in minecraft no no it's not i have no clue how to do that that would look something massive like this so let, let's see if i actually wanted to do this we'd have to do something like this about like this big <laughs> yeah it's it's huge it's massive i can't actually do that in minecraft with like the size limitations so maybe we'll have to think of a different way for people to leave the park. But for right now, we have a little bit of a gate thing here. That's fine. Uh, hopefully no one will cheat their way in and way through. But now it's time to actually texture this little pathway. I'll move these chests off to the side here in a quick second. But I'm going to grab some materials for the pathway and then start texturing with you. So first of all, we need to take a look at the pathways over here. They have stone, brick andesite, gravel, cobble stairs, and normal cobble, and mossy. So I don't have mossy, but I can make some stone bricks, so we can do most of the pathway, and if I get enough mossy, I will mix them in together. And speaking of which, isn't there a way to make mossy cobblestone now? Cobblestone and vines, I think? Or was that for the mossy stone brick? I'm not sure, I can't remember, but let's come over here and slowly start mixing in a little bit, like just randomly breaking stuff out. Whatever it breaks, it breaks as I'm moving along here. That's what we'll replace with a couple things and then work on it like that. Like as you can see, we're already getting a whole bunch of stuff like, shaved away. So in a couple of these, let's throw in the stairs, like right? one or two of them, just a few, not too much. I don't want to overwhelm the walker with like a whole bunch of potholes, you know, confuse them. Couple with andesite, you know, sprinkle that in around some places just so it has a little bit of variation. Uh, let's do a little bit more andesite over here though. And then around in a couple places, let's do some cobble. So like there's some cobble, there, there, uh, more cobble in my inventory, there, 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 and over here, fill that in, fill in all the ditches that people can fall in and sue me with, 
right? Fill in all of those and we're already getting a better pathway, right? We're already getting a much better pathway. Let's see if we can come over here. If I have any stone, yes, I do. And make some stone bricks so we can throw those in as well. So a couple more random breaks. Let's try and break up the monotony of it. Just place them where I think they might stand out a little bit right there. Uh, maybe one over here and one there and just fill those in with some stone bricks if any of the afterlife members would like to you know help donate some materials to the uh, cause the afterland go ahead come over here I'll probably put up a chest or something just a little donations chest and you can donate I need quartz bone although bones are uh, very easy to get uh, some mossy cobble and I think that's it for right now. I think that we might be good. So we have that set up. We changed the design of those. We have that. We added a tree. We textured the pathways. Now we just need to texture over here and we should be golden. And I think that might be where I end off today's episode. We've done quite a bit of work. Okay. So finished up the little holes. Let's get all of our materials back on our hotbar. Stair there. Stair there. Uh, why not a stair there as well? And there. And a site, and a site, uh, and a site, and a site, right there, and cobble, 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 and it just sounds like I'm a turkey. Okay, um, hmm, stone brick there, 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 and a site, cobble, and a site, and let's mix in a little bit of stone brick down here, so stone brick, uh, stone brick over here in the corner, right here next to the andesite, not more andesite. And then maybe like two right over here. Oh, uh, eh, I'll keep it. Okay. And just for the sake of having a little bit more stair variety here, right there. So there's a little bit more path, a little bit more hole. And I think that's good. So what we did in today's episode is added this little thing that should be spreading soon. Let's get rid of these so I actually can spread. So we added this little tree thing. We changed the design of this. We changed the design of those. We added this little gate thing. We added the giant sign. We did a pathway and we made, that's about it actually, the pathway, the giant sign, the two turnstile to redesign, or the two ticket booth redesigns, the two turn turnstile redesigns, the uh, gate thing, and then we have to probably sooner or later connect this pathway, leaning all, oh yeah, so by the way, Hutchie is on with me now, uh, pathway all the way around here, keep going, oh, you thought that was it? Nope, you keep going, we gotta connect it somewhere around here, it looks like someone's already sort of planning a path around here, so that'll be perfect, but I think that's going to do it for this episode of Afterlife, I hope you enjoyed this episode and i hope to see you in the next video remember stay fancy and peace out Bye bye